So the original OneMo camera backpack from PGY Tech changed the way I looked at camera bags. It taught me that sometimes the price of a more expensive camera bag is worth it. And the OneMo 2 from PGY Tech takes all the great things from the OneMo and improves upon it. So let's take a look at the OneMo 2 from PGY Tech. Now I do need to mention that PGY Tech did send me this bag, no money exchanged hands, and they don't have a say in what I talk about in this video. All the thoughts are truly my own. With that, let's get into this review. Let's start off with the build quality. If you've used any of PGY Tech's other accessories and gear in the past, you know they have a really strong build quality. And this is no different with the OneMo 2. The OneMo 2 is very similar to the original OneMo, and my original OneMo held up amazingly. I've had it for three to four years, I've tossed it around, I've put it in dirt, beaches, sand, all that, and it's held up beautifully. It almost looks brand new still. And I think the OneMo 2 will hold up just as well. And in my testing, so far, it's going to. I've really beat the OneMo 2 up already. I've attached it to bikes, I've thrown it in trucks, I've ridden bikes with it, I've thrown it in sand and dirt. I've done a lot of shooting with this bag and it looks brand new. Wipe it down and it's clean and good to go, good as new. The exterior of this bag is this nice water resistant material that doesn't get dirty very easily and is really easy to clean off and wipe down. It feels really strong. The zipper poles are great, they don't get snagged at all, and they feel durable. There's also a lot of extra padding, especially compared to the original OneMo, which is a really nice welcomed addition. Overall, the build quality of this bag is great. The one thing I did notice about the build quality of this bag is I felt like the laptop sleeve stretched a bit after a little bit of use. Nothing too bad, I think I just kind of stuffed it oddly, and it never got as tight as when I originally got it. Not a big deal, this is common for other camera bags, especially that have as big of a laptop sleeve as this one. You can hold your MacBook Pro and your iPad, and it fits both very well. Now, as I mentioned, I did really like the increase of padding on this bag. It's much thicker and it helps bring the bag off your back. This creates nice air channels for air to get to your back so your back doesn't get as sweaty. And when you're carrying a lot of gear, my bag probably weighed around 20 plus pounds. It was really helpful to have that extra padding so it sits more comfortably on your back. The one thing to note about this extra padding, I did feel like it added a bit of extra weight to the bag compared to the original OneMo, but it does help because you're getting more padding, you don't notice that weight as much. PGY Tech also did a great job with the shoulder straps on this bag. They have a decent amount of padding, but they don't overdo it to the point where it's a little too uncomfortable because the straps are too thick. I really like the thickness of these straps. In addition, PGY Tech adds a lot of great aspects to these straps, like a pocket that holds your phone. I use this for some meds and chapstick. They also have places to put things like their beetle clip so you can clip your camera to the strap. These straps are really well designed and well thought out. They also have load lifters so when you're using something really heavy in your bag, it's easier on your back and shoulders and it doesn't hurt as much. This is a really well designed strap system. The one thing I don't really understand about this bag is the sternum strap. It's not a typical buckle like the original one though. It's got these little clasps that I find a little harder to use. They were hard to find the position on where you wanted to put them and I ended up using the sternum strap less because I just didn't like these. I didn't think they were intuitive. I hope on the OneMo 3 when that comes out, PGY Tech goes back to a traditional buckle. These were okay, they helped take the load off, but I didn't love them and would prefer a more traditional buckle. Additionally, this bag has a removable waist strap. This is something I was really looking forward to. The original OneMo didn't have a great waist strap or really any waist strap and having this removable waist strap on the OneMo 2 is amazing. I'm often loading my camera bag really heavy and riding bikes with it or running with it and being able to take some of the weight off my shoulders and keep the bag closer to my body and less wobbly when I'm doing these things was super helpful and super useful. Speaking of how much I load this bag, let me show you this clip of how I loaded this bag for a multi-day photo and video shoot. I think you'll be super impressed with how much this bag holds. All right, so I'm about to go on a multi-day photo and video shoot. I've got everything packed in my OneMo 2. I've got my A7 IV with the timer on 35 to 150, a random cable here. I got the Sony A7S III with the timer on 20 to 40. I have the Zeiss 50 millimeter F1.4, the Sony 35 millimeter F1.8, card readers, lens filters. This is all audio equipment. This is a portable charger, gum for the flight. I have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3, an Insta360 a GoPro, and that's pretty much everything I need to shoot everything photo and video wise. I also have the battery for the Ronin RS3, which I'm gonna pack the RS3 in my carry-on and then I'll put it in the bag when I'm ready to shoot. As you can see, this bag can clearly hold a lot. I also keep my iPad Pro in the tablet sleeve and if I wanted to carry a laptop with me, I could also put it in the laptop sleeve. These sleeves are a big improvement from the original OneMo. I often found with the original OneMo, my laptop and iPad would get snagged when I was putting them in there, and I didn't have this issue at all with the OneMo 2, so that's a big plus in the OneMo 2's favor. 
The main compartment of this bag opens up super wide, allowing you to get to all your gear super easily and keep you organized and pull things out without struggling. It also offers two side access doors. These are great if you need to pull out a camera super quickly. I don't always use side access, but I like having it and I find it's beneficial when I do need it. On the opposite side of this bag, there's a water bottle sleeve. It holds a decent sized water bottle, but nothing too huge. I really find having a water bottle sleeve on a camera bag is important. When I'm doing these shoots, I'm often talking a lot and running and I get tired and thirsty and having water available to me super quickly is nice. This water bottle sleeve also doubles as a tripod holder. This is great, there's a strap to hold the tripod in tightly, and I didn't find the tripod felt like it swung around too much or got loose, and it definitely felt more secure than the original one though. Above the water bottle sleeve, there's another pocket. This is a great pocket for small things like business cards and pens. I really liked having it there, but I did find it was a bit weird that the zipper didn't pull all the way around. It made it hard to get to things in the bottom of this pocket. I'm glad it was there, but I wish it was more like the original one mo where the zipper would open the whole pocket, allowing you to get in and see things a bit more clearly. On the front side of this bag, you'll notice a zipper that goes along all the way through the edge of the whole front. And this leads me to one of my favorite parts of the bag and probably what it improved upon most from the original one mo. This is an expandable pocket and it adds an extra five liters to your bag. This makes the bag way more versatile and it's by far one of the best features of this bag. I love bags that expand. They just makes it so much more versatile and having this five liters of expansion is a huge bonus. When I'm traveling, I keep this expansion closed so the bag can fit under seats easily, but I still manage to put a few small things like chargers or snacks in there and it doesn't add a lot of bulk. Once I'm at my destination, I'll open this expansion up fully, allowing me to add an extra five liters. This pocket is great for a gimbal. So when I'm at my destination, I'll take my gimbal out of my carry-on roller bag and I'll put it in my camera bag so I can take it on location with me and store it away when I don't need it. When I'm not using a gimbal, this pocket is great for clothes. Maybe it's a spare shirt in case I get super sweaty, or if I'm putting a rain jacket in there if it's supposed to rain. Having this extra five liters is so versatile and it allows me to pack much more efficiently and hold a lot more. Another awesome thing PGY Text does is they include a shoulder bag with your One Mo 2. The shoulder bag is really nice, it's really sturdy, it feels strong, and it will protect whatever you put in it really well. This is great if you want to put a drone in, that's what I've traditionally used mine for, but it's also great if you want to take another bag with you put a camera in and then travel a bit lighter. Maybe you're going on a trip and you wanna use your camera bag and you wanna also have a small bag to take with you on day outings and this is perfect for that. It's sturdy and it also expands, which as you know, I love. Overall, PGY Tech did a fantastic job with this camera bag, especially for the price. When camera bags with similar build quality and similar designs are going for $300 and $400, the fact that the PGY Tech One Mo 2 is under $200 blows my mind. If you're wondering why my lighting just changed, it's because my light over here just died and I don't feel like getting the charger out, so let's just wrap this up real quick. If you're looking for a bag with great build quality, great performance, and a great design, the PGY Tech One Mo 2 is the bag to get. This bag offers an insane value and I love gear that offers a great value. For now, go out and shoot some photos. Thanks for watching.